couple who live here have spent all their time and effort lately renovating their dream home. This is the lounge room, the last one on the list. As you can see, they've basically run out of creative steam to get the room done. They've told me that they want this room to be a key space for entertaining. They want to have their friends and family over and they want it to feel inviting. Great little brief for me, can't wait to get it done. doing here is I'm actually marking up the size of the sofa on the floor. The one that I've chosen is for one of those contemporary modular corner suites. Around 3200 long, that way I know exactly where it's situated and I can literally build the room around it. This line marks the side of the sofa and this is the height of the back. Now you can see I've got all of this wasted space between the sill and the back of the sofa. I want to utilise that. So I'm going to build a long shelf that goes all the way along this wall. Now what this will be for is things like a glass, maybe a cup, a mobile phone, even your book. Having it wrap around too in a nice timber will also tie in the floor. So it's a really nice little design feature. So I need to locate the studs in the wall. The easiest way to do that is with your knuckles. And when there is a stud, the sound changes. So generally speaking, there's one there. Once you've located them, just mark them up. That way you know exactly where you'll be screwing into. So the idea for this shelf is to make it slim line. I don't want any bulky brackets. So it's two pieces which will go together at a 90 degree angle. I'm using Tazzy Oak. It's a really lovely timber and will tie in well with the floor. This is the underside and this is the top shelf. I've already pre-drilled the holes and I've countersunk them. Now to attach them together, I'm using a small drill bit just to go through and create little pilot holes all the way along. That stops the timber from splitting. Then it's down with some PVA glue and then screws to attach the two pieces together. The colour and the grain of this Tazio are just so beautiful. I don't actually want to lose that, but I do need to offer this shelf some kind of protection because over the years it's obviously going to be used for coffee cups and wine glasses. It will get marked. So the good thing about this one, it's a water-based varnish. It doesn't change the colour at all and it just gives it a really lovely low sheen. Makes it easier to clean as well. But if you're prepared to think outside the square a little, there is absolutely no reason why you can't use external cladding materials inside as well. This is going to be our media wall and with a big flat screen TV right across it, it's going to really stand out. So by having this dark matte colour called Monument, it's going to help that TV to just disappear. I think this is going to add a contemporary, almost premium feel to this room. Wall, we're going to have a lot of cables that need to go up to the television so to hide them away discreetly what we're doing is we're adding battens to this wall that way it leaves us that air gap to conceal them. So what we've done is put a clear glue top middle and bottom. The secret with this is not to have too many visible fixings and now just a couple of very small flathead nails at the top and on the bottom, trying to keep this middle nice and clean. Shelves really are one of the easiest things to build if you're handy with a drill and some glue. Now these ones are really good because you can either have them freestanding or fixed against the wall. If they're freestanding, it's a good thing too if you're a renter. We've got a backing plate here that we're going to run at 90 degree angle again. You'll need to pre-drill it because it is Tazzy Oak and it will split. Then you can glue it and screw it together. We add on some side rails with a shelf in the middle and then one across the top. 
So now I can pre-drill and nail and glue everything together. I like it. Quick build, very easy to do. Now it needs just a light sand just on the edges. Take away those splinters. And with that all done, a coat of varnish. happy with this little piece of furniture. Very easy to make and I think what makes it look so good is the fact that we've used Tazzy Oak. It's a quality timber. It's going to look beautiful in the lounge room. Things are really kicking on here in my lounge room makeover. I've had the Sparky in. He's installed my pendant lights. These ones are concrete. They've got a beautiful ribbing down the side, which actually matches the corrugation in the mini orb. So I'm loving those. Now, while he was here, he's also added the electrics here for the television. So that's all ready to be connected. We've done the cutout. We've hung the bracket. I also made these lovely Tassie oak shelves that wrap all the way around the room. To continue the line, we've now got double level, so we've got a great little area for propping and storage. This just wraps neatly around the corner, which really adds to the flow of the room. So now all we need is for a TV to appear. Or in this case, disappear. The key to getting a premium look for a lounge room is to build your design around some great classic pieces, like this sofa. If you want to give the illusion of more room, choose a modular design so it tucks neatly into the corner. The other thing we did deliberately was to choose a sofa that had a raised leg. It doesn't look too bulky. Now, in colour terms, we went for tan. It's a classic. It'll always be in fashion. It's comfortable and very luxurious. It's a great piece for this room. room doesn't have the best view, you can always make your own by investing in a very cool piece of art. This is a photographic print and has all of the colours and the textures used throughout this space. It literally takes you on a journey. Once a very blank room really has been an absolute joy to work with. And the Tazzy Oak shelf that just wraps around the room, we've linked the whole thing together and given this space personality. And how about this media wall? I think it's an absolute gem. I love how the TV just literally disappears. It really anchors the whole design. This space, all in all, I think is warm, it's cosy and very family friendly.